They're words a sister never wants to hear about her younger brother. He was ultimately diagnosed with dilated cardiomyopathy. Words that led to many nights spent away from home. So he was in the hospital for 135 days. OSU sophomore Ashley Kerrigan and her family waited anxiously for a donor for her brother Brandon's heart transplant. He received his new heart December 17th, right before Christmas. Flash forward three years. Brandon is doing well, and Ashley has become an active advocate for organ donation. On Sunday, she joined more than 700 people at the Wexner Medical Center, planning pinwheels on the lawn. For every transplant at OSU since 1967, 8,500 in total. I know it's helpful for me to see other people out here supporting each other. Each one of the spokes on this pinwheel represent the eight lives that can be saved through one person's decision to become an organ donor. People of all ages and sizes celebrating a second chance at life. Brandon only had to wait a matter of days before he was paired with a donor, but Ashley knows there's not enough people that are registered that should be registered. Others aren't so lucky. It's scary to think that how, how many people are on that list don't actually make it and that my brother could have been one of them. Next semester, Ashley will take on the role of president of the student organization Buckeyes for Life, a group that encourages organ and tissue donation. It needs to be talked about more, it needs to be advocated for more. The worry for her brother she once experienced turned into passion. I think it pretty much made me who I am today. For Lantern TV, I'm Jenna Linusars.